to the channel. I'm Ryan Z. It's been a while since I've done a Whispered Ramble video, but I think it's about time for a little update on me and my channel and how I plan on improving my quality for you guys. Um, everyone who subscribes to my channel, which, let's pause this real quick, I don't really like calling you subscribers, even though that's what you are. It just seems so informal, so business-like, corporate-like. Um, I think you should just be called friends, so I'm going to start referring to my subscribers as friends more often, um, because I really appreciate what all my new friends are doing and helping me grow my channel. Thank you so much. Um, the channel's been growing very well, I think. Um, as of recording right now, I'm at 839 friends who have subscribed to my channel. Um, my videos are getting more and more views with longer view time usually, and uh, hopefully we'll start to grow. Clearly I've made some changes to my layout. I have this black background now. Um, my thumbnails have been updated to kind of just be me in the black background to really show what the video is about. The background was a $6 piece of fabric from Joanne Fabrics. Uh, it's secured to a little like changing room partition that I've had forever um, with some clips that I got in my garage. So I didn't spend anything but six bucks on this background and it works really well. Another thing that I'm trying on this video, I changed some of the camera settings. I took off HDR because somebody told me that if you don't have an HDR device, the videos look really bright and washed out in areas, and I don't want it to look like that. So I'm kind of putting it on standard video, and when I edit the video, I'm going to try and manually adjust the, um, the visual settings there. I've never done this before. Hopefully it works and doesn't just look like absolute garbage fingers crossed. So life update, the holidays came and went. Um, it was a pretty slow holiday for us just because COVID is crazy. I work around COVID patients and I didn't want to give COVID potentially to any of my family or friends. Um, I've been really safe so far, thank God. Uh, no issues for me or my immediate family with COVID. I really hope all of you out there are safe. Um, you know, just be safe, that's all I have to say. Take care of yourselves and your family and friends. Be safe. We still haven't started our kitchen remodel that I talked about in our last video because everything is so backed up from COVID. Uh, we're probably not gonna get started until late spring, early summer, but I guess that's okay. It gives us time to fine tune everything that we want, uh, cabinet wise and things like that. Uh, if you hear some banging in the background, my neighbor's doing some work outside, I'm very sorry. Um, we had some snow the other day, uh, not very much, about three to four inches. Um, I personally love the snow. I hope we get five feet of snow. I love it. I don't mind driving in it. I drive a Jeep. Um, I think it's cool. It's beautiful to look at, and I hope this winter we get a lot. Last winter, we got hardly any snow, and I was really bummed out about it. So, yeah, I've been experimenting a little bit. Um, with some video game recording videos. I know a lot of you guys don't really enjoy them, at least I'm assuming based on the views that they get, but they do bring in a few new subscribers to the channel, so I'm not going to do them very often, maybe once, maybe twice a month. Um, I'll do a video game video, but I'm going to try to edit them in a way that's more streamlined and more enjoyable for you guys as well. Um, I know you guys enjoy the whispering. I know you guys enjoy the hand sounds. I'm going to incorporate those into those video streams more and more. Um, but once again, only one, maybe two a month. I'm not going to overdo it. And if I do it, they're going to be in addition to my two videos each week. Um, I'm not going to substitute those because I know what you guys like, what brought you to my channel, and you're going to keep getting that quality of ASMR from me. Um, I'm having a lot of fun doing these videos, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. So I think going forward, my goal on YouTube right now is just to put out quality, basic videos that got me the 800 plus friends I have now. Um, I was trying this and that, and I was trying to do what's popular, and I was trying to do what other creators have had a lot of success on, and those videos just weren't doing that great. And I really, really think success on YouTube is just being yourself.
yourself and doing what you like and having this organic feel and honestly I think it's going to be the video I don't expect to blow up that's going to blow up um, anyway that's enough YouTube talk this is about the time that I start planning uh, my garden for next year I'm probably going to have some seedlings sprouting in the house soon to get the size where I can transplant them in the spring to late spring some of them early summer um, I think I'm probably going to do similar to what I did last year, um, which was we grew 10 different tomato plants, and by the end of the summer I was sick of tomatoes, but they're delicious, and homegrown tomatoes in my region on the East Coast are perfection, and I'm going to do it again. Um, I am think I'm going to do four cherry tomato plants and six standard tomato plants. So I'm thinking about growing cabbage this year, but before I get too into this video, if any of you have suggestions or tips on growing cabbage, please let me know. I tried a couple years ago and it just didn't work. Um, same thing with bell peppers. I don't know what it is, but I cannot grow bell peppers. I'm going to try them again this year. We'll see what happens, but they just don't work well, and I don't know why. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to grow potatoes again this year, radishes, carrots, the basics, cucumbers. Um, I make my own pickles. That's pretty cool. They taste delicious. They're kind of like the uh, Clausen brand you buy from the store, those crispy ones that they uh, sell in the free in the cold section of the grocery store. I'm gonna try to grow sunflowers too. Um, last year, rabbits ate every single one of them once they got about this tall. So I'm gonna have to fence them in somehow. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. So in my last ramble video, I was talking about um, our boy Bare Bones who passed away, um, but I don't really talk too much about our other pets. Uh, we have two ferrets, Rocket and Luna. You know what? I hear them awake in the next room. I'm going to bring one of them in here so you guys can meet them. One second. Okay. She's already going crazy because we're in a new room. But this is Luna. She is just over a year old. She is gorgeous. I love her so much. She is my little baby girl. Say hi. Say hi. We call her a little fur snake because she slinks around like a snake, but she's covered in fur. Want to say hi to a little Faraday SMR? Little Faraday SMR? Hmm? Um, she's also deaf. Fun fact, many white ferrets that are not albino are deaf. So she's not an albino. Um, her eyes, they might look red with this light, but her eyes aren't red. Um, a lot of white ferrets, I think it's like 75%, it's a high percentage, are deaf. Um, I don't know why. Genetics, I guess. Mass breeding over the years. But yeah, she's still adorable. She acts just like any other ferret. You want to go back in? Why don't we go get your brother? All right, Luna. Good girl. Good girl. Scritch, 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 scritch. Yes. Okay, let's go get Rocket. Okay, and this is our big boy, Rocket. Hey, Rocket. Good boy. What's that? Rocket is about four years old. We adopted him, and he is just the loveliest little boy that you have ever seen. I just woke him up. He is in a dead sleep. He's usually very uh, spastic and crazy, but he is in a slumber right now. A stupor. He is sleepy. I see those sleepy eyes. When we bring him into another room, oh, by the way, our ferrets have their own whole room. Our second bedroom is for the ferrets. So, not our third bedroom, but the larger second bedroom goes to these tiny little animals because we love them so much. And we spend a lot of time in there with them playing, too. Oh, you good boy. You good boy. What's that? What is that? What is that? You want 
to say hi. You're a sleepy boy. You're a sleepy little boy. Another fun fact about ferrets. You can hold them by their scruff and they'll start yawning. Every time. It doesn't hurt them. This is what you do. That's how their parents hold them when they're young. But they'll start yawning like that. Let's see. Get a good shot of it. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Yep, so. This has been Rocket. We love our little guys. Maybe one day we'll get another one. Which, of course... You'll meet them then, too. Good boy. I might have to get a thumbnail with you. You better stay awake. Okay, I'll be back. Those are our ferrets. Uh, they are adorable, and we love them to death. Um, show them some love by liking and commenting on this video. So, I guess moving on, I, am, I really don't know what else to talk about. I thought about this before making the video. I was going to write a list of, like, topics to talk about and, you know, pointers and just things to keep me going. But when you just have a conversation with somebody in public, like, you don't write down what you're going to say. You just kind of talk and keep going. Um, now, that being said, I'm not the best person at holding a conversation. And this is actually very awkward for me. Um, I'm actually really nervous when I get in front of the camera, believe it or not. But I just figured that I would flow this conversation the best that I could. Um, and who knows, maybe it'll help me get over this, uh, like, little fear I have of, of talking in public, speaking in public. Um, who knows? We've been watching a little bit more TV lately. Um, I don't know if you ever watched a show called Claws. It came back on for its fourth and final season after, like, almost a two-year break. It might be the most ridiculous show I have ever seen in my life, but it's so good and we love it i recommend you watch claws um c-l-a-w-s if you haven't watched it start from the first season because it's an insane ride it's crazy um just check it out i suggest we've also started watching the show uh it's a comedy called ghosts uh it's really really good so far um this couple inherits an old house and they want to turn it into a bed and breakfast but it's haunted but nobody can see the ghosts and uh and these aren't spoilers, by the way. Um, the wife somehow has the ability to then see the ghosts and antics ensue. I don't want to spoil it. I'm just talking about things that we've been watching on TV. Um, I suggest it. Go check it out. If you have Disney+, Plus, uh, I'm a huge Marvel fan, Marvel movies, and the Marvel shows. The Hawkeye series, uh, six-episode series, was amazing. It might be my favorite Marvel television show that they've done yet. Uh, I recommend checking that out. It was super good. Um, something I think I want to watch. Um, that show, Fixer Upper, it went off the air, but they put... Um, a season of Fixer Upper on whatever their subscription service is, but apparently it's coming on regular TV. Um, I don't know if I'm going to watch it or not, but I did like their old show. If you've watched the new season of Fixer Upper, let me know how it is in the comments. Um, or any show that's been good that you have really enjoyed, um, let me know and tell me why I should watch it. Maybe I will. Um, I don't watch that much TV, but I do enjoy watching TV. This will be over with by the time I post this video, but uh, my Ravens are playing their final game of the season, and there's like a 2% chance they make the playoffs, so the Ravens would have to beat the Steelers. Also, the Colts have to lose, the Chargers have to lose, and the Browns have to lose, I think. I think that's what it is, and then we could potentially get the last seat in the playoffs. It's not going to happen. This season's already over for us, but if we get into the playoffs, that would be miraculous. Um, once again, I don't know if, if you guys enjoy sports or enjoy me talking about sports. I love football. I love baseball. Um, I like hockey. I do not watch basketball, and I do not watch soccer. I can't, I just can't do those two, and I barely have enough time for paying attention to hockey as is, um, but yeah, who's your favorite football team, are they in the playoffs this year, uh, let me know, um, who, 
actually let me know who's your favorite team and who is your least favorite team and why i'll tell you my least favorite teams now my least favorite teams are the in no particular well okay here's my top three least liked football teams the tennessee titans the pittsburgh steelers the new england patriots um you know being a baltimore fan you would think that the Steelers are my most rival team, which they are our biggest rivals, but I do not like the Patriots. Um, I feel like the rivalry with the Patriots has been greater over the last 10 years than our rivalry with the Steelers because we seemed to always meet the Patriots in the playoffs every year. And that game means so much more. And when they beat us, it hurts that much more. And when we would beat them, it feels that much better. Um, so I, the Patriots are at the top, then is the Steelers, and then is the Titans. And I, the Titans have like become a rival out of nowhere. They just, they've been a little bit disrespectful to some teams, which is fine. That doesn't bother me, but... Um, I have a friend who lived in Tennessee for a long time. He has a lot of bad memories from Tennessee. Um, I've been to a Ravens game at Tennessee before, and I don't know. I just, they're, I don't like that team. So I think I'm going to wrap this video up. Um, I'm rambling on, which I know is actually the point of these ramble videos. Um, everybody stay safe and take care of yourselves. Let me know if you like this style of video. I'm not very good at talking on the fly, or... Um, See, I'm not very good at speaking on the fly, so this is a challenge for me, but I do want to give you guys what you like to listen to. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments if you like this. Uh, let me know how I can improve, and everybody stay safe and take care, and I will see you next time. Thank you for your support. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel to further support me. Thank you so much.